Welcome back to Tada 3D Printing. So we know that the Bamboo Labs printers create quite a bit of filament waste and I don't really understand why they have it on the back of the machine. It's kind of awkward. I've just been putting like a little bin back here but it's kind of tricky to get to and it is a lot of filament waste that I'm going through. So I like this purge tray bucket that has a removable part so you can dump all of the filament waste without having to pull everything out. So the one part is nine hours and the other one is about six and a half hours. It says it doesn't need any support, so I wanted to try this out. We started with the slide piece, which was the nine hour print. And this one went pretty good, um, better than I was expecting because I was a little nervous with that angle on the slide that it might have some issues with no supports, but it seemed to do pretty good. But when we get it off the build plate, it definitely takes up the whole plate because we do have a little bit of filament that kind of attached that is that kind of like purge that it does on the side. But that pops off pretty good and first layer looks pretty decent. It looks like it may be warped a little bit on that corner and the overhangs on the slide are not beautiful, but it's not something you are ever going to see. So I would rather use less supports or less filament for the supports and I think that worked out good. And then on the next thing, I kind of messed up. I had accidentally started the same print again, not swapping, and I had forgot that it had printed that first layer. So the interesting thing is when I did print that inside bucket, it just printed right over that first layer. And I'm kind of surprised that it didn't have issues with that, but that did make it all kind of one piece. And it took me a second to realize what had even happened here. Other than that, it did warp a little bit on the front and maybe it's just because I didn't, you know, properly prep the bed after the other one. It might not have had enough glue. I'm not really sure. So I'm hoping that, especially with the amount of filament that it used, I just would like to still see if this fits in the other piece. And again, since it's not like something that needs to be sold, it's just utilitarian. As long as it works, that's what I need. So now that this print is done, we can just snip off this little first layer. It really was only like a layer and a half. So just using scissors is fine to just cut that off. And I used Royal Silver and Overture for this in PLA because I wanted to match the color of the X1 carbon as much as possible. And just to make sure that it doesn't catch on this edge, we just kind of sand the last little bit of filament that's still there so that there's no, no harsh lines. And I think that that'll be enough so that it doesn't catch. Okay, so let's see how it fits. I primarily wanted it on my AMS one. This fits right next to my Prusa XL, so it's just kind of tight there. And it does fit just fine to get it into place. And I think that we'll still be able to grab the purge bucket out. Um, I really like that this has two separate pieces, so that can just slide right out. Let me know if you like this design by Urban3D or if you found a similar one that you like. Thanks for watching.